Good morning, everybody. My name is Barry Schwartz, and this is the Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, May 12th, and this is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable at seroundtable.com over the past week. Lots to discuss. Uh, we got a Google search ranking algorithm update around May 16th going forward. We have um, Bing having to kill off their anonymous sitemap submission because of spammers. Uh, Cora Vitals may replace the FIDs with the INPs. We'll get more into that later. Um, Google is testing new ad labels um, and sad to report that Bill Slosky has suddenly passed away. Um, he's a legend in the industry and we'll get into that more. So definitely stay tuned. So I'm recording this from home as you can see. I uh, haven't recorded one of these at home in, I don't know, probably over a year or so. Um, and. The reason I am is because a lot of people in my house are sick. I'm thankfully okay, but we have four COVIDs, three streps, um, and a few other things, um, but everybody's doing well. But let's do a live test um, to make sure I am okay. Let's pop one of these out and I'll show you the results at the end of the video. So stay tuned, the most exciting part of any video I've ever done. So let's give this a swirl. You don't have to watch, I'll cover. going. I'll let you know what, got, what happens at the end of the video, so don't miss this. Now that that's done, let's get into the search news. First up, Google Search um, may have had a, a large Google update unconfirmed again. The interesting part is that it's over six months. When I reported this, it was around six months since the last Google Core update. Um, this happened on May 16th um, and seems to be going on May 16th, 17th, 18th, and even throughout the end of this week. Um, Google has not confirmed this. We have had lots of unconfirmed updates since the core update. Google has never confirmed a uh, core update since then. They did a product reviews update. Uh, but as you can see from these charts, and I'll try to add some fresher charts, you can see that the whole week has been pretty, pretty volatile. Um, hopefully, I suspect we'll have a core update soon, but who knows? Google has, not, has been very hush-hush and mum about those core updates. Like I said, spammers ruined something again. Um, they went ahead and uh, stopped Bing from actually using the anonymous sitemap submission. So previously you were able to just ping a sitemap XML file to Bing anonymously, and that's going, that's gone. You can no longer do that because according to Bing, uh, recent evaluations have shown that this is often subject to misuse by spammers. So Bing is getting rid of it. Instead, you're gonna have to use it in Bing Webmaster Tools or and, and or you could go ahead and submit it um, using your robots.txt file. So, I'm sure most of you are doing it that way anyway instead of using the anonymous submission, but that's what it is. There's lots and lots of chatter in the SEO industry around Core Web Vitals. There's always stuff around Core Web Vitals, and it's pretty interesting, of course, because Core Web Vitals and the Page Experience update don't play that much of an, a factor in terms of SEO weight at all. In fact, it's a very, very minor uh, factor. Um, so um, one of the factors in Core Web Vitals, one of the metrics used is FID, first input delay, and there was a lot of talk at Google I.O. and afterwards that Google's gonna replace FID with INP, which is interaction to next paint. Um, and basically that kind of INP measures the overall responsiveness to user interactions on a page and it may or may not replace FID. So it's very interesting to see that. There's lots of discussion around that. It seems like it's going to replace it based on what I'm seeing. We don't know when it's gonna happen in terms of the measurements and the benchmarks and all that stuff is being tested right now. Uh, but Google's recommending you submit feedback to them so they can actually learn more about that. Moving on, Google's Search Console performance reports now shows in the structured data um, elements, rich results elements, education Q&A, specifically in the search appearance filters. So if you wanna see if you're showing off for education Q&A, which we actually discussed last week, a new structured data schema that Google supports for rich results, um, now you can actually see if you're showing up for that if you actually have structured data for education Q&A um, in the search appearance filter or by clicking on the search appearance tab in the performance reports. Um, a new possible form of Google knowledge spam, po knowledge panel spam is showing up. It might be a bug or it might be intentional spam. It's hard to know. It does seem kind of like a, like a bug. Google has not responded to this. We've asked numerous Googlers about this. If you do a search for SEO services in India or SEO services in India, a knowledge panel shows up on the right-hand side that says musical artist, SEO service in India. It seems like it's pulling from some type of podcast solution, but the question it was, was this intentional or was this some type of form of spam or was this just a bug by Google? 
We will see. Um, it's very interesting. Again, Google has not responded to this after multiple Googlers were asked on Twitter. This is interesting. Google's asking searchers for to add additional search terms in query, to their query if the query is very short. So um, this comes from Punnett on Twitter, who basically did a search for news. And in that query, um, you can see Google's overlaying, overlaying this message that says, to find an exact match for your search terms, put a word or phrase inside quotes like this. So interesting to see Google giving search tips in the Google search results. They've done this before, but usually Google doesn't want to give search tips. They just want people to search naturally and they'll be able to figure it out. Google search is also doing something cool with this scroll the high text to highlight. So when you click on a feature snippet or some other elements in the Google search results, sometimes when you click on it, it will actually anchor you down to the landing page and highlight that text on the page so you can see what that portion of the feature snippet is quoting. Google is now testing it specifically on Android devices that when you do that, you could actually go ahead and highlight, uh, copy, and basically message, share on Twitter, social media, Facebook, or email that snippet of text automatically, which is pretty cool. Here's a GIF of that from JC. Um, this is pretty cool to see. This next one is from Crystal Carter, who basically went ahead and shared a screenshot of a page she created. She created a web page which has a thumbnail image and a hyperlink to a YouTube video. Google's now, it's not a playable video. It's just basically a link to the YouTube video. It's not an embedded video. I'm not sure why she's not embedding it to be played, but she decided she wanted an image and then a link to that video. Google's then showing her a image, I'm sorry, a, a video thumbnail where basically somebody could actually click on it. And it looks like they can actually play the video. And it actually says uploaded by the Google Search Central blog, uh, Central YouTube account. So Google's not actually looking at the video. Sometimes there's OG code there and stuff like that. So Google may interpret the video as playable in the actual page, but it's not. If you actually look at the page, it's not a playable link. It's actually a link to the YouTube video, which you can play on the YouTube channel directly on youtube.com, but not on crystalcarterseo.com. So this is interesting. I'm not sure if it's a bug by Google. I don't see the video itself, but I do see the uploaded by Google Search Central, which implies that the video was embedded on the page and playable. Google Search is now segmenting or giving segmented uh, results for some recipe results, which is pretty interesting. The segmented results carousel was spotted by Morty Oberstein, uh, where it actually not just shows you just rest popular recipes, but it also breaks it down by you know, variations of those recipes. So here's a, a, a screenshot of that. Um, this was also spotted by Punnett also a while back. Um, so thank you so much for spotting these. Pretty interesting to see Google doing that. Google Ads is testing, replacing the ad label with a sponsored label or advertisement label. We've seen Google test this before, uh, but now it seems Google's testing it again. And Google actually confirmed the test, uh, giving a statement to Search Engine Land, basically saying this is part of Google's experiments, yada, yada. Google's always experimenting to make things better, yada, yada. But again, it's interesting that Google's testing that. Just so you know, in 2010, it used to be called sponsored, labeled as sponsored. And then in 2010, they changed it to ads. And then since then, it's been ads for the past decade or so. Uh, but Google has tested showing advertisements spelled out, ads, of course, and of course, sponsored in different areas. Google hotel results are using reviews, reviews that you and I leave or anybody who leaves reviews for hotels um, as things to do content. So if somebody leaves a review and said, oh, I had a great time here. I was able to go to this mountain or that place. Um, and Google's actually using that content for things to do, which is pretty interesting. And of course, Google's also summarizing the reviews using thumbs up and thumbs down mentions, which is pretty cool. That was spotted by Mike Blumenfeld, and the first one was spotted by Morty Oberstein. Bing is testing in their autocomplete search bar, same thing that Google does, where there's not just showing uh, trending searches and related searches, but also piece people also ask. Here's a screenshot of that. Um, that was spotted by Kushal, so thank you for spotting that. Brody Clark did a poll asking, should SEOs have really solid and good SEO for their own websites in order to sell SEO. And actually 75% of those people who um, uh, completed the poll, and there was about, I don't know, 1,400 plus responses um, on Twitter and about 300 responses or so on LinkedIn, so about 75% said yes, SEOs do need to have great SEO on their own website in order to sell SEO to other clients. But then you think about it, like the shoemaker is shoe. It's never, they always have ripped shoes because they're always busy doing work for other clients. Um, so that could be a case for that as well. Um, big news for Google this week is that they opened their new campus after several years of development. The Google Bay View campus is now fully live and it's launched. It's some cool pictures of it and they have a whole cool video about it and how amazing it is. And it does look amazing. Um, I can't imagine what they spent on it, but it looks like an amazing place if people go back to work, which they are forcing some people, but we'll see. And finally, this, the sad news this week is Bill Slosky 
who's been in the SEO industry before it was named SEO. I call him the mentor to the SEO community because that's what he is. He mentored all of us, including myself, including most, the most respected SEOs that you probably follow today. He was there from the early onset. He was never lazy. He always responded to every single question people had in detail. Um, and sadly, he passed away last Tuesday, um, a couple days ago, a few days ago. Um, and I think it was related to the stroke he had it in 2020, which I thought he fully recovered from, but um, I guess I think things didn't go as um, expected. And sadly, um, he's no longer with us. It's the outpouring of responses from the reaction from the community uh, when they heard about this news on Thursday night, uh, Thursday afternoon, was incredible. It's just amazing to see how much one individual person has impacted the whole community. Um, and it just shows because he put so much effort into teaching, educating, helping, um, mentoring, and everything to the SEO community. Um, even if you may have not personally been involved specifically with him, I'm sure the people who you're involved with have had some interactions with him indirectly or directly from other people because he's really brought this industry to where it is on so many levels from his pat patent writing to explain how search works to explaining SEO concept and testing and so forth. Um, so it's super sad to see or uh, hear the news about Bill um, passing. Of course, I personally have known him for about 20 years or so from the creative side forums, early days, and of course, across speaking with him at conferences and writing and so forth. Um, so I just, you know, Bill has just been so instrumental to everything and it's sad and, you know, may you rest in peace. Any event, thank you so much for listening to the Search Buzz video recap. My name again is Barry Schwartz. This is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable. And definitely stay tuned. Of course, it seemed to be negative. So you can see a negative, um, otherwise there's two bars. And you probably could tell by my, my voice, you could probably tell that uh, I sound okay, which is good. So any event, um, thanks so much for listening to the Search Buzz video recap. My name again is Barry Schwartz, and this is the Search News we covered over the Search and Roundtable at seroundtable.com over the past week. Today is Friday, May 20th. Everyone have a great weekend. Be safe, be healthy, and you know, tell somebody that you respect and you appreciate that you appreciate them because you never know when they're going to be gone. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.